just one swipe and don't do amma amma. <laughs> it's when I like them. No. Hello and welcome. I'm Satya. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be making a video that has been very highly requested uh, because every time I post a video on Instagram, at least one comment is always about what shade of lipstick are you wearing. Uh, and if you're not yet, you can follow me on Instagram. But today I'm going to be swatching all of the pink slash nude lip products that I use. Lipstick is one of my weaknesses when it comes to makeup products because it's something that I wear almost every day and I watch so many lip swatch videos before actually buying a shade because online you can't tell right what it actually looks like so it helps to see it on a person's lips so I'm going to be showing you what it looks like here in the camera and also in daylight what the color looks like and if these colors are something that would suit you then you can also try it out so first is the Maybelline Superstay in the shade Ring Leader this is the one that I wear in almost every video and I actually have many shades in the same uh, Superstay MAC and series because um, they're highly pigmented and more than that their staying power is incredible. Like for me when I put lipstick, um, I want it to stay, I don't have to worry about it moving around my mouth or you know bits of it being patchy because I have pigmented lips. So for me the main thing is I want both shades of my <laughs> lips to look uniform and even and if um, a lipstick wears off while I'm eating it's going to look patchy and look a bit messy on my face and it becomes more obvious if you have pigmented lips so that's something that I'm pretty concerned about which is why I love this uh, Superstay Macking formula um, again like I mentioned it stays the entire day it's very highly pigmented you need only one swipe um, but the drawbacks to that is like when I go to drier weathers like when I go to Delhi I find it's very drying on my lips and I know a lot of people also have told me that when I've recommended this lipstick to them that they feel it's very drying. So I'd gone to Delhi in the winters and then I could literally feel my lips cracking when I applied this just because the formula is not suited for a very dry cold climate. But if you live in a humid hot climate then it's perfect like I just love the way it lays on my lips. I put it on I don't worry about it. A very important thing with this lipstick is application. You put it in just one swipe and don't do amma amma because that's not the way it has to be applied. You just put it in one swipe. You let it do like this like this. It'll dry almost instantly and then you're done. You're sorted. And like I mentioned, its staying power is incredible which also makes removing it quite hard. Like micellar water will not work. I use a lip balm to get to like melt it away and remove it because otherwise it does not go like trust me I've gone through an entire day like my previous video in which I ate my way through the entire day in Singapore I was wearing this lipstick and it did not move it did not budge it stayed on throughout so trust me I've been using this for two years I completely stand by its staying power and I'm very excited to try new shades okay lipstick number two from the Maybelline Superstay ink series is 380 in the shade Enchanter this is a little darker peachy pink and again formula love it this is what it looks like. The next lipstick is also from Maybelline. It's called the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Link. And this is different from the Superstay Matte Ink because um, like this one is very drying and matte. This one leaves almost a glossy finish on your lips. And I was very, very excited to try this. And in fact, when it's first launched, I remember posting a story and asking if anyone knew how to get in India because it hadn't launched yet and at that time Akash was living in Singapore so I asked him to get me one of these because I really wanted to try it so they say how you're supposed to use it is to you're supposed to shake it and then apply this series doesn't give as much coverage as the Maybelline Superstay matte ink because um, you can see that you can still see like the pigmentation come through on my lips um, but it has a nice glossy effect and the lasting power is surprisingly good for a liquid lipstick that has a glossy finish because that tends to get a bit sticky and it tends to like come all over the place but although this is a bit sticky uh, the lasting power is quite good I remember I wore it for a dinner and I ate properly but after that like it was still there on my lips it didn't smudge it didn't fade it didn't like get all over the place so that was good this shade I don't like too much I feel like it's a too light for my skin tone I feel like maybe it's better for someone who um, is probably fairer because I feel like the contrast might be better um, it's in the shade 
peachy which is why i was very sad i thought this would be perfect shade for me but it doesn't look as good it also comes off a bit easier than the super same marketing yeah just like once one swipe is needed there is another shade in the same series called saucy this suits me a bit better but i feel like um if i found something in between these two shades that would be my perfect shade next we have two lipsticks from smashbox and these are the smashbox minis i think it was from the collaboration with malvika sitlani and uh, i got this on sale on nika because otherwise it was very very expensive but anyway let's first try babe alert it's a mauveish pink and it's almost like completely dried up but i've still kept it because i i didn't didn't feel like throwing it now let's try the cult classic driver seat from smashbox i remember when i first tried it on i was a bit disappointed because i was expecting it to be the perfect peach but it's a little um darker pink uh at least that's what it looks like on me so i that's why i wasn't too happy with it but uh, i have to say like i'm actually more impressed with these shades now than when i was when i first used them and now that they are a bit drier and old <laughs> is when i like them no but yeah let's see i might i might consider buying full size versions of these who knows let's see with my uh, lipstick uh, addiction you never know Next we have this lipstick from Disguise Cosmetics. It's the Feather Light Matte Liquid Lip Cream. And I use this when I usually have a quick errand to run to or something where I don't need something like super long lasting. It's very light on the lips. It's very creamy. I absolutely like love the formula. If this was long lasting and a little more pigmented then I would this would be my go-to lipstick. But it's also a great alternative to have on days where you just want something light and soft on your lips and something that's not too like heavy. Now we come to a little more premium one. This is Mac satin lipstick in the shade Twig. This I had not bought. It was gifted to me by my mother-in-law and it's a really pretty shade. This is more of a mauveish pink. I don't usually wear cooler toned lipsticks because they don't suit my face too much. I like warmer toned like peachy orange undertone lipsticks because they brighten my face and I feel like cool toned lipsticks make my face a bit duller. However, the formula of this it's so buttery soft it glides on like a dream like if this formula with a long lasting transfer proof lipstick that's the dream if you know of something like that let me know i would love to try it it's something i've been looking for for a while so if you don't know of something leave them in the comment section now we have two lipsticks from the brand bellora and i actually have a partnership with them where i have a discount code in the description but let me show you what they look like The first one is in the shade Tea Time. This one I love how pigmented it is. I just had a one swipe application as you could see. Um I also like that it's very soft and light on the lips. It's not very heavy. Uh however, it's not as long staying as the Maybelline Matte Super Ink, but if that's something you are not too concerned about then Try this and use my coupon code. This one is in the shade Kissing Obsession. I love how this smells. It literally smells like vanilla ice cream. So this one's formula is a bit more drying than this one. I personally prefer uh this one's formula better. And the shade also was something that I thought would be lighter based on what I saw on the model on the website but again she was a different skin tone from me which is why it looked different on her but I like the shade it's something I don't have so if this is a shade you'd like to also try then check out Kissing Obsession okay so I have tried 10 of my nude slash pink lipsticks I hope this was helpful to you and helped you with making any decisions when it came to buying lipsticks if there's anything else you'd like me to try let me know I have other shades of lipsticks like reds etc which I love if you'd like to see that let me know I hope you have a fantastic week ahead um and if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel it will help my channel grow thank you and bye